Hi everyone, this is Swashrod again, and today we're going to upgrade Zerida by 2x ruining her. She is not 6 stars yet, so she won't be performing at the expected level in Apex, likely being a bandaid, but I want to make her at least usable to some extent if I am forced to pick her. Uh, I believe I will... I, I have I've been thinking about what enchants to roll on her. I think I'll stay with Rough C uh, instead of Breeze uh, because a new dagger will come out later on. Uh, and that dagger ignores 20% uh, of enemy defense if your skill is higher than the opponent. So with Rough C, 10% extra attack, and that new dagger ignoring 20% enemy defense, she can break a lot of uh, tough, you know, high defense units in the future. So her role can change. Uh, instead of just being a zoner. Uh, Breeze is always good, of course, if you want to play Zerida to zone uh, long leg enemy units. Um, I'm playing a kind of a turtle style AoE tank push, so I think she'll be fine uh, just with rough C. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, not a hard commit right now, but uh, uh, let's upgrade her right now. Let's upgrade her right here. So we're going to spend two ruins here, do a full upgrade, and then convert back. By doing so, she'll get uh, some more attack, which is great. Alrighty, let's let's actually before we do that, let's check her stats real quick. Four twenty four attack. What's her bond at? Uh, oh, we need to upgrade the left path before she gets the bond. I see. Yeah, so it's actually important. Uh, her demon class actually blocks her attack bomb. Let's do that. Upgrade. Alrighty. Interestingly, fun fact, Zerida is my first SSR from the summon. Ever. Back in like... December when I started. Uh, besides the free sherry, of course. Uh, and I put her, I put Zerida from Liana, Lana, and Zerida banner. And I really hated her because I wanted Liana or Lana. But anyways, finally we got around building her. She's really, really, really important in PvP. All right, let's go get some of these items from guild store. I have like I have like sixty k guild corn currency. That's insane. All righty, first one done. Now let's go for this Chaos Chosen. Um, this skill is very important, Ahazad Bloodthirster. Um, in the future, actually, she'll get a 3C that has this and uh, I believe the attack skill combined. Uh, so you can use 3C to activate uh, Bloodthirster and then next turn you have the attack skill. Right, The, the skill rotates between the two. All right, let's go. No, you will not be happier if you're stronger. Strength does not equal happiness. Sadly for you. Well, that's true in general. Being more powerful does not necessarily make you happier. In fact, usually make you more sad. Similarly, if you think about, you know, if someone has extremely high IQ, will you actually be happier? Very deep philosophical question. If you read the book uh, Flower for Algernon, for example, 
you'll see that uh, sometimes being more ignorant of things, being you know having low IQ, might make you happier. When you are too intelligent and no one understands you, you are very lonely. So same for if you're too powerful, everyone fear you, right? You might, you might not have a lot of people around you that are true friends. All right, we've done it. So let's go back to upgrade Zerda back to Shadow. You know, imagine you're so smart, and let's assume you also have lots of friends, but they're not as smart as you. If you talk very intelligently in front of all of them, just being yourself, what might happen is everyone feels like, oh, this guy's too smart for us, you know? And they start to kind of distant from you, right? As That's just human nature. Okay, so let's go upgrade her bond. Where is Serida? There she is. You deserve all these wonderful upgrades. Let's go this too. And then let's unlock... Uh, oh, okay. Intimacy. Gift. You need some gift. Give you some doll. There we go. Level heart level 25 Zerida. Inventory gift. We'll use this instead. Use the guild store for this one. Level 10. Yes, full upgrade. Money well spent. Now let's look at Zerida's stats. Zerida, where are you? You there you are. Okay, so 502 attack. So she just needs she just needs this five star. Uh, when she reached five star, what's gonna happen is She'll get 562. What? 560? Oh no, that's demon. Why would you keep Zerida in demon? 534 attack. So that's 534 attack. So 32 more. That's a huge, huge, huge upgrade. Okay, so um, we're gonna have to roll some more chance here. The these attack are garbage. So let's go. Max this. Not too bad. Uh, not too bad actually, but uh, could be better. Do I have attack surge stone? No, I don't. That sucks. That sucks. Twenty-five more here. It's five more here. Five more here too. Uh, yeah, let me just double check that quick, real, real quick. Yeah, 15 attack max from a uh, helmet. 25, so four more here. 30, 30 here, so three more. Um, also five more here. So I think what what we can do is roll one of this. I don't want to roll this though. I think I want to roll this one here. Okay, seven is not bad. We might be able to get better though. If I can get one more improved, we'll see. yeah, we'll keep this, I guess. Uh, what about this though? 
What about this? What is this stone type actually? Let me just double check. This stone I can I can get some arena surf stone or surf stone here. This is where we can select. This is where we can select as well. Uh, gain five random arena masters. So I guess we want to do this. Well, what did we get? We got one defense, one attack. That's really nice. One AP. That's very nice. Int is nice. My M defense. Okay. Simple protection. Okay. That's not bad. It's not bad actually. Yeah, that's not bad. HP, attack, int, defense, 3M defense, crit chance, crit damage, and then receive crit. Okay. Hmm. Those are very, very rare though. You have to use them very carefully. So let's go check out... We need to absolutely max our attack. Oh shit. That's not good. Uh, let's keep going. Oh god, still not max. We're missing stats, we're missing 11 in total. They add up, man. They really add up. Um, these are... Assassin, Archer, and Demons. So... I don't have any Archer in my Apex box, and the only Assassin I have is her. Demons, I do have uh, Estelle, but Estelle doesn't need attack. So I think what we can do is potentially get some one, some, some from these. It's gonna be expensive. I really need her to have high stats, as high as possible. Three from here and four from Feels feels hard. So let's go try four from this. Oh shit. Oh shit man. We might need to use the surge stop. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Just missing two, missing two, missing three, missing two, three. That's nine I'm missing here. Oh, man. Her skill is okay, I guess. Uh, she could use better HP though. This HP sucks, so let's go get her better HP. Not the greatest. That's really good. Let's give her another high HP there. Oh shit, only 79. So, she could have 50 more HP. Fudge. I don't know if she, need, she actually needs these skill here. I think she needs defense.
Yeah, four skill seems a bit underwhelming. I think she needs more defense. Uh, and her skill is gonna be something like Stoning Blow, Battle Zard. Wait, what? Oh shit, we didn't even offer a C. I have to do that too. Um, she could use better HP. Let's see whether my Lestel HP needs improvement. Yeah, I guess we could we could give Lestel some more HP too. So I don't want to spend all the HP on Serida. Not enough HP ones here either. So I guess the question is do we reroll our attack with three more attack here and two more attack here and two more attack here? This this is red like Jesus Christ. I need the 30 here man. gonna take a lot to roll this though I don't th I think I'm gonna wait because I might need to strengthen on my uh, healers my healers need better stats uh, to survive against enemies AOE etc um, I think they are actually high priority so I'm gonna save my resources uh, my flexible resources for healers uh, and they're all mages most of most of them are mages except Sophia. So the mage version of Tyrus and Liana, uh, for example, have higher int. So, but I'm short on mage stones because my snipe, sniper is only A, A plus. I haven't S ranked it yet. Uh, Zerida's HP is a little low. Oh, holy shit, that's good enchant. Oh man. So what I need to do is to give her actually Sherry's gear. And then Sherry will unfortunately use this shitty gear. Oh man, sad Sherry. Really sad Sherry. Um, and in fact, Zerida should also get the King's Crown or her own exclusive. Let's get this. 3% is not good enough though. Sherry is going to get the bonnet. Um, I don't have extreme magic bows. That is a big problem. And this attack is shit. So I need to reroll some of these stats. Uh, let's reroll from this armor, I think. I need uh, 4 or 5% attack. The other two stats are shit right now. 
Holy shit, that's high defensive stats. That's not bad. 4% attack. Works for me. Interesting though. Let's see. Let's check our benchmark here. 5% attack. Oh shit. So they're aiming for 5% attack. And HP. 10% attack. 10% attacks is I guess is quite important. Okay, so I have a 4% here, I have a 3% here. I think this needs to be 10%, so that's a problem. So I need a 10% attack here. This is way too low. So let's prioritize this. Let's, let me see, let me see. Breeze version. Her exclusive is not really good actually. Remove one debuff and then um, uh, heal her 20%. But the, the thing is though, if you use Ahrazard Zerida, you're immune to debuff the, when you use uh, Ahrazard. And then you heal back the foe after you attack, basically. So, yeah. Okay, so let's go make this 10%. Accessory is going to be hard. I might have to go through all of the rough seas. Oh shit. Uh, part of why I also want to use rough seas is that I don't have enough breeze scroll. Way less breeze scroll. And I do need breeze later on for units like Deedlet. I, I want to build Deedlet up. Um, I also need breeze on Aerial Horde. Or I could put magic on Aerial Horde. Arian Horde, Arian Rod. Um, so I don't know. And if I want to push Racial's Enchant a bit better, I might want to reroll a few Breeze too. So we'll, we'll just keep doing Rough Sea on Terry. Come on, I need high attack. My god. 10% crit but no attack. Fuck, only 4% attack. What is this? My god, not doing well. Shit. I need high crit and high attack. At least, like, I think high attack is the more, more important part. Oh my god, I can't get a higher attack on this guy? What the fuck? Fuck, man. Oh my god, I need attack. Okay, 5% attack, 16 attack. Okay, that's better than this. Is it? 16 divided by 500 is 3%, 8%. 
Ah, oh, fuck, man. I don't know. It's not still not good enough. That's 8% attack. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel too good. Still more attack is good, that's for sure, but just I'm losing the crit here. Shit! My god, how do you get something like this? It's so good. I need better rolls. I'm using this up already. Holy crap, man. Are you kidding me? Can you give me a high attack? Seven percent attack, six percent crit. Okay, that's a, that's I think better. That's better. Two percent more attack, and we do have defense and crit too. So. My god, our stats is just not just not not good enough. It's not good enough. Man, that's a really high stats. Holy crap. Hey, what? Hmm. Nine percent attack. Four percent attack. Four percent attack. Fifteen percent defense. Holy shit! Five percent HP. Eleven percent attack. I think we need like. Uh, I'm just, I just don't have enough attack. I think I need like high attack on this guy. The HP doesn't really matter. I mean, I mean the HP does matter, but. on this HP on this guy too oh man 1% 1% is 5 more attack 9% here this feels bad man I can't push this up I think what I'm going to do is get some of these surf stone packs, maybe. Plus two here. So push it to max. 
I could buy one more of this. Oh, I don't know. This is 27 right now, so... I have only one more of... Two of these. Two of these. So maybe I just buy three more. Yeah, I want to save these as they are potentially very valuable. I need to roll a lot of the heat, better healer stats. Um, but I want to be careful because I should also be pushing my tank to the max, right? So for example, juggler is missing... Oh shit, juggler is missing one here and one here. That's a bit... Uh, Missing two here, so I need. I should actually put them two, two, two on this. What about my Landius? Oh my God, my Landius! Oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, I, I mean, a lot of my units could use better reroll, I guess. This is going to be a costly project, it seems. Very costly indeed. HP int and defense search thing. Um okay, so you know what? Let's roll some nice. Roll some arena master stone. I also need high attack on her. Fuck, that's garbage. That's really bad. Jesus Christ. I actually don't know what she wants. I don't know if she wants defense or skill. I'm thinking skill. I'm gonna wait, ask some guildmates for help and come back to this. So right now I have 4% on this, which is not too bad, 3% on this, which is a little low, so I want to like 2% more if possible. So I think I'm going to reroll this, but I might get even less HP, which is really, really sad. HP is a little low. I need higher attack on this too. This is way too low, so I have to roll a lot of rough C on this. Uh, it feels wasteful if I get extreme magic roll level. But still, right now I don't have it, so let's just 
commit to this, I guess. Higher attack, which is very difficult. Like fifteen percent would be nice. It's not uh, okay. Hmm. Oh shit. Thirteen percent. That's better than before. Still not fifteen. Is better. That is certainly better. Maybe I can roll a little bit more here just to see if I can ever get him high. Shit, 8 is like the max I can get to. Oh my god, rip. Couldn't push past 8. Damn it, I need more stats. I feel like but but if I lose eight percent HP that should even lower on HP. Damn. Oh. oh my god, my attack stat sucks, man. Just, this is this is not good enough.
So let's roll some defense on her. Instead of skill. Oh my god, not good enough. Two crits, crit and crit. Nice. Then we want the other crit. Not bad. Not bad actually. Uh, the thing is, do we want skill or do we want defense? That I'm not sure right now. And I could potentially use better defense on other units. Oh, Juggler's max defense. Interesting. So Juggler could use some more magic defense. That's shit. Holy shit, max the uh, man, 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 man defense. Um, no, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're not too sure, eh? Back to Zerida. This is taking too long, holy crap. I might give her defense here instead. Instead of skill. Uh, how much crit? How much crit does she have? Eight. Hide and seek is crit increased by what? I think 30% at six star. Let's see, just do the math real quick here. Hero, Serida. What's wrong with my internet? Why is it not loading? Or is this just this web page? It's 
Derrida, Derrida. Okay, Derrida has 30% crit increase. 30% crit increase. So 30. So right now she has 3, 1, 2 plus 79. Uh, divided by 10, that's 39% crit chance. And then if I bring Alphazard and probably Killing Blow, Alphazard, and Action Bob. So actually, Zerida needs two turns to set up. Um, unless I bring this for crit, then plus another 30% from this, then plus. 6% from that, oh, it's only 75%. Oh. Interesting. I think defense still, maybe defense still better to survive counter, counter attack while she has a hazard maybe. So I'm gonna give her defense instead. I think defense better than eight percent crit chance. Um, I forgot to ca count the arena one. Right, so I added thirty nine percent from her skill, thirty percent from her talent, then. Another 8% from here. That's 83% crit chance. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. If I put 80 skill here. Actually, she doesn't even have a skill stone. Holy shit. Skill stone here. Thirty, thirty, six, eight, eighty three per cent, thirty nine, thirty six, and eight, eighty three per cent chance. So if I put eighty skill, that actually will boost it quite high. Um, I'm not sure what to do here actually. And her attack here really sucks. She 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 needs higher attack. Uh, come on. Oh my god. Okay, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. 44 attack. 44 attack. So skill actually if I do this. I mean, I mean, like she still can't get crit tap, right? Because you could, you could have Landius reducing crit chance by how much? I forgot. Uh, I should know this. So Landius reduced crit chance by thirty percent. And then if you, have, if you have like Giant's Resolve, another 20%, so that's 50% crit chance reduction. Hmm. So that's, that's, that's actually a big problem. With 30% crit reduction, eh? But that's why a lot, a lot of people, I think, run like... Sliced, right? Right, if you have another faction buffer, you can go Killing Blow, Alpha Zard plus Sliced, right? Like if, let's say if I have Fossil, for example. Hmm. 
Alternatively, we can bring blood back. Which is actually quite interesting. Then her role kind of changes, like you're trying to snipe more defense, higher HP tanky units. Wow, this HP sucks, what the fuck? Man. This is taking me too long to uh, upgrade. This video is so long now, almost one hour, holy shit. skill not a lot of people need skill anyway so nice just one more skill I guess not worth it the attack though oh shit three more attack Oh man, this attack feels too low. I need like 5% more attacks. Just going to, that's, that's, that's so hard though. I think I need 5% here. Not good enough. Four percent attack, but I lose eight percent HP. Oh, feels bad, man.
8% HP. Now I get 90 back. So and defense is always good too. So this is like Yeah, this is not bad actually. This is like 4% defense too. I guess this is decent to start. Let's give her defense. Nice. We're keeping this then. Okay, so she has very high defense. Now we need to awaken her. Um, we also need to upgrade the Hellfire Archer actually. And we do have that saved up. Let's go upgrade Hellfire Archer for her Alpha Zard game. Wow, we spent like what, 6 mil on her? We started with 54 mil, right? Let's awaken her. Uh, hold on a second. I think I'm gonna try Alpha Zara just to see what actually happens. And I'm gonna turn attack animation on because uh, I wanna figure out how this works. Three block. Oh shit, the new one. Oh wow. Single wait, single target. Fuck! You cast decay even though there's one single target? I thought AI doesn't do that. Whoa, there's a Zerida at the end of the tunnel. Zerida versus Zerida. Okay, let's go Alpha Zerida again. Shit, that attack animation also didn't even move. 
Oh my god! Holy shit, that Zerida has insane movement! Oh my god. So we gotta attack now. Or we could offer Zerida attack next turn. Just wait, yeah. His officer is gonna wear off. Now we can go in like this. Oh shit, that attack animation is insane. I think, uh. I think only like Yusuke and uh. Hain have like insane fast counter attack speed. So now, what I can do is bring something like Faction Buff, right? I can do something like this now. Uh, I have this choice, but it takes too many turns to set up. That's the downside. Two turns to set her up. Which is fine if I'm doing slow AOE push though. I'm pretty happy with the uh, sword is right there. Yeah, I That's actually pretty good defense. Not not the greatest, but it's uh, not bad. Um, I could push for five percent attack, but I think that's going to have to wait because I'm running low on scrolls already. So Zarida, unless I get her exclusive and try to roll on the exclusive. Man, this is just like Sherry's like stats is taking a hit. I should build another one for Sherry, I guess, but I don't want to build it in case I get another last right. There's no point for me to build another armor. Or I could build all these from here. What am I building next, right? So. Ares need one of those medium armor and that's it actually I don't need to build anyone else Steedless heavy armor, Liquorous light armor, Iron Horde heavy armor, Odious is cloth right, light armor so only Ares that means I could build one of this and give it to Ares later maybe Six million is after. Two percent attack, three percent attack. She's lost some, uh, she's lost like four percent attack. 
two percent attack, so she lost like some attack here. I could always switch it back depending on the PVE contents if I don't use Zerida, of course. Wow, this is a big project. Big project indeed. Holy crap, how does he have this much HP? No, oh, it's H HP in general. Interesting. Oh my god, 15% attack. Holy crap, another 15% HP. My god, no wonder he has so much HP. Oh, she also is using um, Slayer's Emblem. Oh, Lone Star. Oh crap, 43, 2. Oh, that attack is really low. I guess there's a bandit. And then that's me. I just don't have... Uh... But uh, my rough C though, um, I don't have Breeze, so, but I have Rough C, so Rough C is going to do a little bit extra, extra damage. Oh, she also has crit increased by 60% here. She's already crit. Oh, shit, I forgot about that math. That's another 20%. So let me do the math again. All right, 394 skills divided by 10 is 39.4% crit chance. She has 20% from here, 30% from here. When our hazard is up. So 20% plus 30, that's 89 already. Wow. And then there's another 6% from here. And I do have another 8% from here. She's already quick cut.
I am very happy with uh, this project. I just cannot wait for her to get to 6 star, which will happen in 42 more shards and then... Uh, oh my god, still a long way. Uh, still 14 days. Uh, two weeks, can't wait. Two weeks. So next Sunday. No, no, next, next Sunday. Hmm. Interesting. So my Landia is going to be 6 star next Sunday, my Zerida will be 6 star next next Sunday. So all good timing actually, only if I get to find some time to play. Uh, and where's my juggler? My juggler is... Oh, my juggler is going to take some time, 21 days. That's good. It's all they're all coming together. They're all becoming six star on Sunday, where so I can line line up my uh, uh, Apex Arena on Sunday. I just need to squeeze out some time. All right, this is this is really good. This is really good. Alright, okay, so, good project indeed, uh, she has very good stats already, of course, you know, not as high as some other units, and, uh, you know, 15% attack, 3 here, 5 here, 7 there, huh. 
Uh, you know, Sherry has 12, only 12 here though. Oh jeez, that's pretty low, actually. Seven here. I don't want to work on Sherry's stats anymore though. That's 8% here. Yeah, she's not gonna do anything for me at Apex. Just like a PvE, PvE unit. Pretty good PvE units nonetheless. Very happy with what I have and uh, can't wait. Uh, can cannot wait for her to get to six star in two weeks. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, slash out.